everybody, it's David and Jen here with David Christophers, and we're coming to you today with an exciting theme that I cannot wait for you to see. It is our Nutcracker Sweet theme, right? I'm excited. Very excited. So when you think about Nutcrackers, you think about the soldiers, maybe drums. You're doing reds and greens and golds and blacks. Yeah, so this one's a lot of Harlequin uh, patterns, checks, uh, things like that. A lot of deep emerald greens, reds, blacks and whites, and a little bit of gold mixed in. Awesome. And remember, everything you see in our video today can be found at davidchristophers.com. We sell wholesale and we sell retail. If you'll check the description box below, you'll be able to see a list of the products used and also a link that will take you to all the products we use. So it makes it very easy for you to shop and decide what you want. And remember, don't get overwhelmed. David is going to add a large amount of product to this tree. Some people don't like that much product on the tree. You don't have to buy everything you see, but we have to show you as much as we can because we want to show you our products so that you can have a good selection to choose from. So we hope you enjoy the video and happy shopping. So we have baskets and bundles of items spread across our floor that we will be working with for this project and we will give you a better look up close and personal of each product before it goes on the tree but we've tried to spread everything out and get it ready to go so this is our seven and a half foot grand spruce you'll notice that it's a little bit taller than me but that's because it's up on top of a pretty large column, which allows me to hang a lot of things from the base and do some, some different things. So we use mostly seven and a half foot trees in our store. And I like this tree, especially for this theme, because I have some rather large ornaments that I use. This is a 200 millimeter or eight inch ball. Um, you know, it fits really well in this tree, still hanging in some of these gaps, but I have some that are much larger than this. We carry this particular ornament in 300 mil 250, 300 millimeter, 400 millimeter, but I'm going to use some of these really large balls in this tree. So that's one reason that I, I really like the tree is it's got some gaps in the branches that allow me to put some really massive things in it. So David's getting some of the balls ready. I thought I'd give y'all a quick little update. Are you, where are you going to put that one? You're going to have to get the ladder? You're going on that side? <laughs> um, we've had a lot of questions about updates on are y'all better? How are your backs? Because you know David started with the back issues and then somehow I started having the back issues. And so David, tell them, give them an update. How are you feeling these days with your back? It hurts, but uh, I'm able to do most everything I want to do. I just don't lift extremely, extremely heavy things much anymore by myself. Yes. So there he asks for help sometimes. I'm still in physical therapy. Long story short, they're still trying to figure out exactly what's going on with me and my issues, but still going to physical therapy, having some needling done. We told you about David. He had the needling done. So also trying, I'm not supposed to be bending, stooping, picking up things. And that's really hard when you're a mom and a wife and you work and do this kind of stuff. But I'm trying to be good. Trying. Yeah. I've been asked if I've been good, but I'm like, well, I'm working in the warehouse most of the time right now. So probably not. Yeah. Probably not. We're, we're packing and shipping things as fast as possible. So. Yes. Okay, so we'll get back to the video and get decorating. So for this tree, I'm clustering a lot of different things together. Um, I want it to have a lot of ornament and a lot of ribbon. So I'm just adding a lot of that deep red toward the middle of the tree and then we're going to extend further out. Another question we have gotten quite frequently is, are we going back to do some celeb houses this year? David's back there. Thank you. <laughs> He's still working. And the answer is yes. We do have some people from last year that we're going to be visiting with again this year. And we possibly have a couple of new 
clients in the works that we hope we'll be able to share with you. But again, that's always up to them whether they allow that or not. But we are excited to continue to do some decorating throughout mainly November is when all that gets done. December. December. Sometimes December. Paige and Jacob made this beautiful faux window for our Nutcracker theme. And I'll get a close-up for anyone that's wondering about this for a store display. It works magic. Looks so good with our Nutcracker Soldiers. And we do sell the Nutcracker Soldier. We have a couple of those left as of today, September 23rd. I'm playing the drum. So now we are going to use some of our large drums which have a great little hanger and an angle and they are weighted on the base so they sit really flat too. So sometimes if we want to use these for decor to sit around, these make great bases for things like nutcrackers that are you know 18, 20 inches tall on a table. But we're going to add these into our tree because they're dual purpose. And we're going to keep this kind of cluster going. So we're going to go in between, in between some of our giant ornaments that we've already placed. And we're going to add these kind of at an angle where you can see the diamond stripes on the sides, but we also want to see some of the gold on the top. And we have different colors of these. So we're gonna add different different colors of the large ones, mediums, and small. So we can really play these drums. Kind of. I beat mine so much more aggressively. You do. <laughs> but that just shows you the quality and how sturdy it is. Like yeah. Maybe not too much. <laughs> I'll leave it with you before I tear it up. And remember, we are a store, so we have a display and we leave the tags on our products because we actually sell these. So toward the end of the season, we'll start selling things right off the tree. So we need the tags so we can ring people up and know how much things cost. So if you're wondering why we're leaving the tags on, that's why. We don't suggest you do that in your home. <laughs> you can. It makes me think of Minnie Pearl. Who all remembers Minnie Pearl who always wore the tag, the price tag of her hat. Didn't she? Was she not the one that did that? I don't know his mini fur. From the Hee Haw Show. Oh my gosh, what is it? I grew up in Tennessee. I'm not saying this. Hee Haw. We know the Hee Haw Show. <laughs> Can't believe you don't know Minnie Pearl. No. <laughs> uh, leave, us leave us a comment. Leave us he thought it was a relative. <laughs> leave us a comment if you know Minnie Pearl and what I'm talking about. I have to show you a YouTube video. Well, this tree has multi changing lights. We didn't talk about that. I didn't tell everybody. Get back to your steady clear. Steady clear. Do you need another one of these? No. Okay. Hello. I'm a mesh. A what? Mesh. <laughs> 
they were calling about your car's extended warranty? No, they already called that. Oh, it's about a mesh implant? Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, every time I'm on the ladder with like something in my mouth and I'm tediously trying to do something, somebody calls. Usually you. <laughs> I'm like, uh, sorry. <laughs> I've always told you you do not have to answer me if you're in a precarious situation. You know I try. I appreciate it, but you don't have to. Oh gosh. Oh, gosh. Ladder. I'm gonna break it for you. And hold your shirt down. <laughs> he is wiring the tree to the wall because we have a lot of customers that come in. We have children and they sometimes get excited and they might want to pull on something and this will keep the tree hopefully from falling off on top of something and causing an injury and breaking the things on the tree. Right? That's the goal. Now I'm going to use this 36 inch, fairly tall, glitter millet grass ball spray. So it's got a few different uh, glitter things on there, but this is black glitter. So it works well for Halloween, yes, but we're also going to use it for Christmas because we want to bring in a little bit more of this black accent from our drums, from our nutcrackers, the hats, the boots, those kind of things. That's really going to liven this tree up a little bit. Now we're going to start with our licorice striped ball spray. So it's got little uh, black balls on the end of it. And it's actually like a fuzzy, very soft chenille that's woven around, the black is woven around the white, so it's very striped. And we're going to put that on top of the black stem that we just put in. Really bring out some of the black a little bit more. We have this tinsel leaf spray that has like a light apple green glitter leaf and then it has this emerald tinsel around that. So it gives me two colors of green instead of one and we're going to be using both shades of green in this tree. So I'm really just going to go kind of on top of what I've already done and make sure that I bend my leaves I'm down because the tree is so high I want to bend everything so that it's more visible from down low. So as you can see if you order these they're going to come packaged like this so the cellophane package keeps the item protected and a little bit safe and so you can it's usually better to take this off from the bottom up so that when you rip down you're not ripping pieces off so be careful as you take the cellophane off of the product and then you can just easily take the tag off and you see that this is not how you want to put it on the tree, right? This is how it comes, but that's not how we're going to put it on the tree. So as you noticed earlier, David was separating all of this is um, wired so it's easy to bend and move around. So I have already gone ahead and tied a few bows together. They're not really bows because some of these have one loop, one loop, one loop, um, you know, different fabric. This doesn't even have a loop. This is just a streamer. Some of them have tails cut. Some of them I'm just going to curl the ends. And it's really just a mixture of a lot of different ribbon, different patterns, different colors, different textures. And we're going to place those near our drum and the stems that are already hanging out of the tree.
I'm gonna roll this end up so it's a little different than the other one. And we're just gonna build from there. So we're just really creating this large cluster that's gonna have a lot of different elements in it, a lot of different ornaments hanging off of the branches and everything coming from this particular area and then we'll move to another area and that really helps give us that clustered feel. Now we're going to use these really deep emerald color mercury balls so they really let some of the light come through that and we're going to layer this up with those. One of my more off-the-wall ideas, this is a cutout of holly that's made out of foam, so you can kind of bend the leaves, but it's got different harlequin prints and cutouts and uh, pom-pom and metallic balls. And we're going to use this holly and kind of put that into our bows. Uh, so you got to kind of find a space and put it in the bow area. Lots of black and white patterns. We've got checks, harlequins, stripes, more harlequin. So we're going to start layering these into the tree to reinforce more of that black and white pattern. Keeping with our reinforcing of the black and white, I'm going to go in with this jumbo holly pick. It's got this black and white stripe pattern on the leaves for the veins. And these work really well for things like this nutcracker color, but it also works really well if you've got farmhouse, kind of black and white plaids, that kind of thing. Uh, you can use it there too. Now to start with our Jovial package spray, or gift box spray. Um, I'm going to use these to extend some of these clusters. I'm going to bend them so that they point more up. Instead of letting the, the boxes kind of angle down, you want the bow angled up. Now we're going to use our geometric 
finial and our ball that have that red foam mercury underneath so they are plastic but then they have the green glitter on the outside so easier not to break these you can but it's harder to Now we're on to some of our magnolias and our poinsettias and our floral pieces and then we'll go on to nutcrackers and we'll be finished. I'm at a place now where I really want to decorate the top of the tree before I finish with some of the outside tips of the tree where I'm going to hang some other ornaments. So I'm going to go ahead and climb up here with some of the things that we've already used. And I'm going to add this sequin sparkle pie in. But I need to give it some of this black and white also. Turning twirls and taking pictures. Yeah. I was going to get another ladder so I could get a better shot of this, but someone else has the other ladder. Say that again. Metallic magnolia. Say it one more time. No. <laughs> you get two. <laughs> That's it. Mm, you'll see what I have to work with. Mm. You don't fall asleep. <laughs> hmm? You don't fall asleep standing up. I had to get off the ladder in case I fell down. Tis the season to fall down asleep. Now I've got nutcracker, little nutcracker ornaments and nutcracker faces that we're going to add to our tree. Thank you. 